Hi, you guys. I'm back. Well, today's December Daily Devotional. Um, I feel that this is pretty fitting for the holiday season. It's about integrity. And uh, integrity, common sense, which a lot, as you will see, as I have seen, um, it's not that prevalent, <laughs> you know. I mean, I'm not trying to say that to be mean or anything, but if you stop and you just watch people and, and you listen to people and you see how they behave and everything, that a lot of people are, you know, for whatever reason, are lacking common sense and they're lacking uh, character and integrity and you know and I'm just making a statement I'm not blaming anyone for anything because I don't know everyone's lives everyone's life is different and everyone is dealing with something different but it I just find it very uh, prevalent now uh, not just because it's the holidays but you know people are under a lot of pressure and they just don't have time a lot of people are just selfish and not they're not being considerate they're not thinking of their fellow man or anything because they're so wrapped up in their own situation or thing in their own life and everything and so integrity is far and few in between <laughs> you know just shopping at Target and Walmart and I don't shop the malls anymore um, my my nerves just I just can't deal with that that type of crowd or anything like that. If 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 we do go, and and not to say that we don't go, if we do go, it's like first thing in the morning when there's no one there. But actually, locally, the the malls here, I have not stepped foot in one in over five years. I do all pretty much all my shopping online. I'll run to Walmart. I'll run to Target. I'll run to the Dollar Tree or Staples or something like that. Uh, but you know, where I live, it's not a lot of people that are bombarding these stores. But not to get off track, but, you know, even running to Michael's sometimes, it's like over in their clearance section, you'll see that people have picked over everything and things are on the floor and things are out of place and packages have been opened and everything. And, you know, and that's a lack of integrity. And um, we're gonna, I'm going to read out of Psalm 26, where the, day, the verse today is Psalm 26, and it's about integrity. But the verse I want to read to you is Proverbs 10, 9, and it says, He who walks with integrity walks securely. And that's true. Those of us who consciously um, want to do right and always put in our best effort forward, you're very secure in who you are and what you're doing. And, you know, sometimes just the smallest thing shows your character and your integrity. And all the time long time ago, my mother used to tell us all the time, when you go to the grocery store, you take the cart back. You just don't, you know, uh, you know, foot it over the, the little speed bump and you don't put it in the planter and everything. Either you take it to the cart area or you take it back into the store where the cart area is. You know, because how many times have you seen a cart go rolling down the, the aisle there and it bumps into someone's car. Well, that's because someone didn't take the time to go put the, car, the cart back where it belongs. And something just that small means a lot to God because that means you're not doing it for everyone to see you. It's about the things that you do that people don't see, but God sees it. God sees everything. He sees if you're trying to cut corners. He sees if you're exaggerating. He sees if, you know, whatever good, bad, or indifferent, he sees it all. You may think no one else is looking, but the main one that's looking is God, and you know what you're doing, too. So this is why we have to practice integrity and good character, because it will come back on us, and we will be held accountable for just the smallest little things. We're so busy focused on the bigger things that we think the little things don't matter. Well, in essence, they really and truly do. And if we obey God in the way with good integrity, it shows that we trust him with our lives and that we want to shine his great love on others. And that's true because people will see you and they'll say, wow, look at him, look at her. They had no problem walking that cart back. You know, they, they had no problem helping this lady walk across the street. You know, I could have done that myself, but a lot of people, they just don't think in that capacity. And we need to get back to helping our fellow man just as if it was us that needed the help. We would want someone to reach out to help us. I um, I purposely park way out 
from the rest of everyone else, you know, number one, I could use the exercise. And number two is just like, I'm tired of people, you know, squeezing in or, oh, you know, parking over the line. And then I got to try to squeeze my car, in which means the next car to me has to squeeze in. And then when they get out, what are they doing? They're leaving a door ding on, on my door. And are they going to leave a note? No, they're not going to leave a note. So, you know, it's like that's bad character and that's bad integrity right there, you know. So I purposely park way out so I don't have to deal with that. And in case in point two, when you're backing out of a parking spot, how many times have you seen people just walk directly behind you? They don't even care that you're trying to back out or you've already started backing out and they are so determined that they're going to get around your car. Same thing with a car driving up the aisle. They're going to get around you. And for whatever reason, the person backing out never has control of the lane. Well, I'm sorry. In my opinion, if you're sticking out more than halfway into the lane, you have control of that lane. But there are people that are in such a hurry. They don't care about you. They're only thinking about themselves. They're going to dart around you. And heaven forbid if you hit them because you didn't see them. Because when you first started backing out, it was clear. Now, all of a sudden, the car came out of nowhere, and next thing you know, you got to slam on your brakes because they're, you know, scooting around you, and they're, they're honking their horn. It's like, hello, I was, already, I was already in motion. I already had control of the lane. But people don't have the patience, and they're, they're self-absorbed, and that leads to lack of integrity and lack of good character. So this holiday season, let's put on our thinking caps and let's think of our fellow man and let's see what we could do to practice good integrity and good character, okay, especially this holiday season. I have taken time in Michael's and other stores where people have pulled things off the prongs and they just left them sitting all over the place. Now, I'm not going to pick up something and walk it clear across the other side of the store. I'll pick it up and I'll just lay it over something, you know, appropriately, but, you know, I'm not, you know, God doesn't expect you to walk all the way across the other side of the store. He just expects for you to pick it up. One time I was at Michael's in the clearance section with the jewels and everything. All, literally a lot of it was just on the floor. I put my earbuds in, I turned on my Spotify, and I just started hanging the things back up on the prong. That's all it was, just hanging it back up on the prong. It took me all of like maybe three minutes of an entire song just to sit there and hang the things back up. And for people to just sit there and just go, oh, I don't want it, throw it on the floor. Oh, I don't want it, throw it on the floor. Really? Really? Just because that's not your job? Let's practice good integrity and good character, and hopefully people will see it and they will want to pay it forward. So once again, our verse today is Proverbs 10.9, and I also want to say one more thing before I let you go. Integrity is Christ-like character in work clothes. Yep, it's in everyday clothing. We want to be Christ-like, and having integrity is being Christ-like in just regular work clothes. You don't have to have a halo. You don't have to have a big title behind your name. It's just you showing good character and good integrity because you love God. Thank you so much, everyone. I hope this has helped you. Keep up those good spirits. As it gets closer to Christmas, it's going to get crazier. Okay, thank you so much. I'll see you tomorrow for another December Daily Devotional by me, Sherry. Have a wonderful evening, and as always, I want you to be blessed. Bye-bye now.